Welcome back to today's brand new punch technology video where today we are unboxing this brand new 3070 Ti Supreme X. All right, now that we're done with those cinematics, which I hope you enjoyed, it's the MSI model of the 3070 Ti. One thing I need to emphasize is how big this box is. We're gonna get a, I have here a, um, let's have a look. I've got a 3070 Eagle OC. So this is an entry level version of a 3070, uh, non-TI. And we're just going to put them side by side when we have this out of the box. And we're going to have a look how, how big it is. Right, this box opens quite nicely. It's got a snazzy little lid that opens. We get a little pamphlet with a few instructions. And I believe we get some stickers in here as well. Oh, we also get this installation guide from MSI, which is um, it's quite cute. You get a little dragon showing us how, how we're supposed to install the graphics card. Um, it even the card's so big it even tells you to measure the size of your case there. Uh, so we'll see what kind of cases that fits in in a moment. So let's put this to one side. Let's take this off here. And looks like we get a mouse pad. So that's pretty cool. As you can see. Says Supreme on the bottom, and you've got the MSI logo in the top left. Then we'll find ourselves with the card and the bracket. The bracket is a hefty piece of equipment, this is. So, can I just get this out? This is, a, this is a heavy piece of metal, this is. And this is just to hold the card into place once, once you've installed it into the machine. So it just goes to show how big this card is um, because, yeah, it's a beast. Let's pull it out of the box. So there, there's the, the MSI 3070 Super Net. So this is the top spec card from MSI. The difference mainly being is that you get a massive cooler on this and it's overclocked quite heavily from factory. In regards to the design of this card, again, you've got the embossed logos on the front of the fans here. That's really cool. The ports are good old one HDMI and three display ports. And we have our PCI 16 connector just there with a protective cap on. We have the Supreme logo on the bottom here, another MSI logo just there. So that's really nice. And the model number just there clarifying that it's a 3070 Ti. So just for size comparison, I'm going to grab that Eagle OC that we had out a minute ago. Just so you can see the difference. There you go. So that is a 3070 and that is a 3070 Ti. Now, on, on the Gigabyte standard, they, they also make a card that's this size. You have the Eagle, you have the Aorus, you have the Master, and then you have the Extreme on the Gigabyte cards as well. And they get significantly bigger each time. For MSI, the Supreme X is the biggest card, biggest cooler, most overclocked card as well. What we'll do is we'll benchmark this. And we'll actually put this up against the 3070 Eagle OC just to see the difference in performance as well. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see how the results compare. And apart from that, let's install this card into one of our machines, and then we get to see how much space we actually have left over due to the size of this. Just for demonstration purposes, I've got a system here. It's a smaller system, and there's a Wi-Fi card in there. So just, I'm not actually gonna install 
the, the Supreme X in this machine. But just to give you the idea of how how big this is, like that actually surprisingly just about goes <laughs> in this case. It's very close. It won't go all the way down, obviously, because the Wi-Fi card's in the way. That would actually plug into this board. And luckily there, there's a gap here. Although, just so you can see that, luckily there's, there's actually a gap here so you can actually get that in there. Depending on the position of the, the PCIe slot, which you can see just down there, um, sometimes the PCIe slots are a bit higher because if it's a bigger board, the motherboard might be higher up if it's a bigger case and then therefore the drive bays actually get in the way. Again, if you have a motherboard where you want to install things such as Wi-Fi cards, you can see one just here, then you're going to need a, yeah, a bigger case or a bigger motherboard. Otherwise, you've got no chance with a 3070 Ti, especially the Supreme X model in, in a smaller case like this. Right, so I have our trusty build a beautiful machine here. You can see the difference. We've got three PCIe uh, 16 slots just there. Obviously, it's not going to go in the bottom one because we've got the power supply mount in the way. It would go in this slot, although we don't want to put it in that slot because that's only running at X8 on the bus speed. This will be running at a full X16 speed. Now, what we're going to do is grab the card. Um, we're not doing an un uninstall today. If you want to look at the uninstall, make sure to go and check out the 3080 Ti video where you can see the uninstallation. Today, we're just going to install this Supreme X and we're going to benchmark it in a bit. So if we look at the card, we've got two sets of eight pins. So we are going to need two separate PCIe cables for the 3070 Ti. The TDP, which is the power draw, is over that that one cable can supply including the 75 watts that we get out of the pcie slot so we're going to need two separate pcie cables to power a 3070 ti so let's just move these cables out of the way make sure the little tab is pushed down just there uh, because if it's not we won't be able to get this part of the card in uh, we're just going to line it up like we always do make sure it's in along the top and along the bottom and the last thing to do just make sure the clip clicks into place so apply some pressure near this end of the card make sure that side's down all the way and there you go so apply some pressure until it clicks in we're going to put one of them in this connector here and we're going to put the other one into Just like that. We're going to grab our thumb screws and we're going to put those in at the top here. All right, let's get this machine over to do some benchmarking and we'll see what the results look like. Right, so we've just ran some benchmarks and the 3070 Ti performed really, really well, especially in comparison to the 3070. It's actually a really big bump up in performance that you get there. So I'm just going to stick the settings up on the screen here quickly. I was just running it at 1920 by 1080p just because that's the monitor's resolution that I was using. The 3070, we'll start with, got a average FPS of 232.1 and got a score of 5847. Whereas the 3070 Ti, Average FPS wasn't much higher, 254.0, but the overall score of 6,398. So that's around a 600 point improvement. So that's really, really good. Hopefully that's given you some insight and helped you today. If you didn't know how to install a 3070 Ti, hopefully you do now. Here at Punch Technology, we have plenty of these 3070 Ti's in stock at the moment. We even have the 3080 Ti's in at the moment. So if you fancy fitting one of your systems with them, make sure to click the link below and go and customize a brand new PC with one of these amazing cards. Apart from that, I'll see you in the next video.